Hey there, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com. I've got the Lumia 920 from Nokia over here and the Windows Phone 8X from HTC over here. We're going to take a look at the differences between these devices. Uh, both are available on AT&T right now. And uh, let's check it out. Okay, first up we're going to look at the specs on the Lumia 920 and the Windows Phone 8X. So I've got them both loaded here and you can see there's quite a difference in the sizes right there this one's much thinner you see the thickness there you also see the weight difference 130 grams versus 185 scroll down a little more we have the processor difference both are about 1.5 gigahertz uh, dual core but we have a slightly different processor type over here we have one gig of ram same for here, we have 16 gigs of storage, uh, 32, well, 29 gigs of storage over here. And here's our screen type is a color IPS TFT. And over here we have a Super LCD 2. And you see the size differences, 4.5 inches, 4.3. The resolution differences, 720 by 1280 over here, uh, 768 by 1280 over here. So this is a little bit uh, wider and this is a skinnier one over there and let's scroll some more you see our um, radio support and everything else that you would expect Bluetooth Wi-Fi all that's there both of these are available at AT&T so we're gonna just look at those prices you see this one is 199 with a two-year contract and this one is only 99 with a two-year contract. And you can see the color options available here. And for some reason we don't see color options on that one. Okay, next let's look at benchmarks. Let's see how fast this processor goes. Both are uh, 1.5 gigahertz, so dual core. They should be pretty close. And you see the tests are going pretty quickly. However, already you see uh, the processor was a little bit faster on the Lumia 920, but the data was a little bit faster on the Windows Phone 8X. Now we're doing the GPU test, and we should be done any second. See, this one's getting 24 frames per second. Same over there. And here we are. So you see a slightly higher score on the Lumia 920. Okay, now let's look at the displays because we have a different display technology in both of these. Let's see if we can see any difference. Both are looking pretty good. I think the blacks are blacker over here. Let's look at the black test. Very close. A little bit blacker here. We also, we also have lighting issue. <laughs> and let's try the whites. The white here, I'm thinking, might be a little warm, whereas this white is a little cool. But they're pretty close. Color ramp. See any banding? Not really. Pretty good. Gradients looking good here too. Now let's do the uh, display angle. Pretty good. Keeping the color consistent there. So both displays are running very nicely. Now let's talk about the camera a little bit. Optical image stabilization over here. So that means you can do uh, better low light pictures because it kind of keeps the lens steady. And uh, let's just look at a picture. Here's one I just took. This is the same scene, uh, very dark and you can see what the 8x did 
I mean, you can barely even see the edge of the mug. That's the edge of the mug right there. Very small highlight. And you can see what the Lumia 920 did. Both are pretty dark, but obviously we got a better quality image over here. At least for that purpose. Now let's look at uh, what kind of software customizations HTC has given us and Nokia has given us. So all of the uh, brand apps are going to be available in these different stores. Some are going to be bundled with the device, uh, but some are going to be free downloads. So HTC has the HTC Hub, connection setup, flashlight, photo enhancer, and converter. There's also a few little customizations here. There's the HTC, uh, there's the Beats Audio amplifier, so you get really good uh, music over here. You also have the attentive phone feature, where you can flip it over to silence the rain, uh, that kind of thing. But over here on, on the Nokia collection, we have a lot of uh, custom apps from Nokia. Some are actually other brands like Groupon and the Weather Channel, but they're customized a little bit and ex exclusive to Nokia for a little while. So you see we have all sorts of stuff here. We have the Nokia Drive uh, GPS navigation program, which works good with Windows Phone 8. We have Nokia Maps, Nokia Transit for doing uh, subway train instructions, bus schedules. We have a special ESPN app. We have some nice uh, camera lenses. We have a photo editing program, city lens, Nokia Music for free, uh, music downloads, panoramic. And we don't really have much over there on the HTC side. The only really cool one is the big clock live tile, which gives you weather as well. Okay, next let's look at the browsing. Let's see. The Lumia seems a little bit smoother on the panning here. Let's zoom in on one of these. That that was pretty quick. And you can tell that the screen is more sensitive on the Lumia 920. Oh, that's pretty much the same. Both of these are on Wi-Fi because this is an international version, doesn't have LTE. Now I'm going to bring a glove in here. Okay, so I have a, a glove over my finger. The leather part doesn't... Oh, well, sometimes it does, I guess. So that can control the screen. I can tap that, but over here, I got nothing. Okay, lastly, let's just uh, take a, I, I showed you the specs, but we'll take a good look around these devices. There's the back. That's how those look. You can see the thickness difference. That's a quick look at the Nokia Lumia 920 and the Windows Phone 8X from HTC. I'm sure to give this video a thumbs up and let us know which you like better in the comments.